little bit of Monday math. So, pretty much everybody has an idea. 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's kind of that simple. And folks have been introduced to 2 plus x equals y. So if you say 2 plus x equals 5, then you know x equals 3. But what if you just come away with 2 plus and you don't know what x is? Because 2 apples plus 3 oranges equals 5 pieces of fruit. So you know you've got two apples, and you know there's an x. So x is an independent variable in the equation, and y is the outcome. y is the answer. It could be a binary answer, right? True or false. So 2 plus x equals true or false. But I still don't know what x is, and if x numerators and denominator doesn't match two's numerator then we've got an inconsistency in the equation something that you can't resolve right so you walk away two plus x and all you're left with is a question so I am presenting you x I'm presenting you with questions. They're questions based on sciences taught to me from the 1940s and 50s. This was about electronics, communications, radar systems, and then measurements, direct measurements from the 1940s. 1950s, 1960s, in the 50s and 60s, MIT began putting together external educational material for these things. They were putting together manuals and books and the physics and giving that to companies like General Electric and Raytheon as partners, as subcontractors, and they went off and made the radars, and made the radar systems, and the military systems, and the civilian systems are all fundamentally based on what we got. If you want to talk radar, we got X from England. England's work on radar systems during World War II truly began they gave MIT a piece of hardware to touch and feel and play with that MIT made better. The physicists, the scientists, the teachers inside that huge system. But that system was buried inside of the Cold War. That was the system of nuclear research that was siloed engineering, meaning that very few interactions were you had, even internally, so that nobody could put together the bigger picture in pieces. Nobody could make a bomb. One part of the bomb makers were not allowed to talk to the other part of the bomb makers, because then the two of them together, and that wasn't, it, well, it was one person at one point, negotiating with the team's knowledge with a general somewhere to be able to go talk to another team because that is the way science works is when one group goes and works with another group for or against them trying to chase an answer 2 plus x can lead <laughs> into not an answer and that's hard to accept what is easy to do is stick other words in there that you believe explain x you've posed a variable into a variable. We already know reality. Reality is two. Reality is pretty well fixed, but it's reality plus x. The x is always there. So I present x. That's a meme, right? 
But this isn't a meme. It sure could be.